All right, guys. So we just arrived here in Dayton, Ohio, about at Copart to pick up the uh, what year is it? Land Rover. It's 2012 Land Rover in hand. So it was repossessioned. So we are 15 minutes ahead, or like 13 minutes ahead of schedule. So uh, he might already have it out. No, he doesn't. So they usually have it out down there. But uh, oh, it. yeah, they changed it. They usually have cars parked over here, but. I can't wear your head to schedule. So um yeah we just arrived here and uh I'll take a video when we get it on the trailer. So uh yep. Alright guys, so my dad's right there, he's going in. They said pending title, which he just going in and see if they have key maybe they have keys or anything like that. Sometimes they leave the keys in there. So uh we're here at Coalport. Got the ramps down, I put the straps on the side right over there, I got the straps down, winch loose, everything is ready, waiting on the car. I don't see the loader, like, we only got this guy working so far. And I worked as we arrived, and I said you're, you might experience a lot of delays, but I don't know. It looks like this is the only dude that's working here, currently. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. We got three people, three other people. Oh, you see guys, that's a drive shaft hanging. Um, so uh, yeah, my dad's going to stand and see if they have anything in there. Keys, title, they might have keys, I hope, uh, title, I hope they have title in there. We're just waiting, uh, we don't know what's wrong with this, but yep. I'll show you guys, um, the uh, auction info. It's going to be a bit smaller, but I'll, I'll show you guys the auction info right over uh, here. So uh, yeah, you guys just saw the auction info. We got it for, actually, I don't, it's 77 after auction fees. So, um, yeah, uh, 77, it's worth around 11,000. It says, um, doesn't run in hand. No uh, notes, so uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so we just now left the Coport. 1.8 miles, exit to I-75 um, North, Dayton. Got it in the back right there. I'll uh, have a picture of it on the truck and trailer uh, right here. So, uh, yeah, we're going home. When we looked into it, it has the belt off, no coolant, but it's clean inside. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. When we get home, we'll uh, diagnostic it. And it wouldn't, like, we put the jump box on it. We see the miles, but it won't start because it says not in park because touch truck driver probably uh, put it in neutral somehow. So uh, we'll see when we get home. They got a brand new key, so yeah, and it works. So uh, yeah, so we'll see when we get home. All right, guys. So we just now got here, and uh, yeah. Um, now it doesn't look the best because it looks like the belt's already taken off and. Um, the air intake boots are already taken off, which is a sign of they tried cranking, cranking it manually, but uh, they got a brand new key made right here. It says transponder. All right, guys, I'm back. So this was already loose. I just fully removed it. Um, it looks all right. Um. I don't know if you guys can see that. Where is it? Belt, not there. But belt up here is good, you know. Right there. Um, my knee light. Well, down there, take my word for it. Right there. Right there, the belt is cut. Right down there, belt is cut. So, I don't know. This is missing a hose right here. Somehow missing a hose. Um, it's actually got coolant. I thought there was none. Oh, it's got coolant down there, all the way down. My dad said there was none. All the way down there. It actually looks like um, those are right. Uh, but you guys can see it looks like there's water. <laughs> that sprayed up. So um. We already tried cranking it, it said it's not in park. 
Um, this house goes somewhere. That's no bueno. <laughs> that house goes somewhere. It looks like someone touched the engine. But this is clean. But that's not. It doesn't make sense really. But um, yeah, I got this. It's the hood stretcher. No bueno. But um, looks alright. Not too bad. But uh. Yeah, so, so I guess we'll check it out, diagnose the, everything in there. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys when we do that. Alright guys, so we're inside. This is what I mean, they did something, this was up. So, my dad's getting a flat test, see if he can put it back in gear. Um, it looks really clean and nice, to be honest. It might be a keeper if it starts and runs good. I'm sure if it's Alright, right, so we got the ignition on. We're reading codes, cam shot position sensor A and option sensor. It just clicks something and it clicks and then everything shuts off. I'm thinking not enough juice. I start start this. What is it reading at? It is reading at eleven. Yeah, the volts are reading at eleven. What? The volts are reading at eleven, so I think it needs to be at least fourteen. You know these. Erase codes and then it'll, it'll click. Ah, oh, see it just clicks. Hopefully it's not enough juice. That's what I'm hoping for. Quick, you guys heard that? Quick. But I'm trying to stir it up. Oh, headlights. Clip is broken. Oh, they tried gluing that too. Um, yeah, it just clicks, clicks, clicks. Um, both belts are ripped. It, it, they're not ripped. So someone cut them, and they're rusted out. So. Not a good sign, but I just want to hear it crank. Let's see. It's just not locked now. He just turned it, huh? Alright, so we just cranked it up. Oh, he's turning it by hand. So, um, that's, that's a good sign, I guess. I think you should let the battery charge up because these batteries, these I think you are scared, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> as much as me. Yeah, as much as you. So, uh, oh, the battery charger still measures. Oh, it's still on. How much? 11. Jump box? <laughs> the, the actual charger? I, I, yeah, exactly, I think, is that it is not enough electric because you you crank it, or you, you, you touch the button. It just clicks and everything shuts off. That's a for sure a sign of not yeah, having no, enough electric. It didn't shut off, but like all the electric went out for a second. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's not enough electric. So yeah. Today I uh, finished mowing the grass. Cause we got the lawnmower, the pulley. It was a pulley that it needed. And uh, we put the pulley in there. Friends, like a champ. Finished mowing. All good. I still got a weeded. But, all right, let's go. Just put two jump boxes on it and battery. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's measuring t 11. Yeah, it's going up 11 points. Uh, no, 10.6. Start with a dead battery. I know. Don't we have another one? So he just turned it, as you guys can see. Turned it. He was able to turn it by hand, so. We just want to hear this thing crank. It's click, click, click. Not enough juice. That's what I'm telling you. It's not enough juice. Belts? I'm making sure the belts are on the way. Just in case he starts cranking. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Suspension's down. Air suspension. So that's what I so yeah, I guess we came through to a theory that it's not getting enough electric. So you guess it. I take this truck, try to jump it. So check uh, this thing up. Oh, Little jump box. Check. Oh, they're somewhere. Oh, they're in that one cabinet drawer. The new cabinets. Um. So. I'm gonna drag this thing up, disconnect it, set it up, try to jump it. 
if it starts, I just want to hear a crank. If it cranks smooth, no squeaking, I'm happy. So, it's a really nice car. My dad might just keep it. He might sell his Jeep. Keep this. Oh, no. Might give this to a friend. Oh, my dad's friends needed a car. Alright. I'm going to catch you guys. We have the jacket up and when we have this jacked up and start uh about it. Alright, here goes nothing. Connecting them right there. Ding. Ow. Oh. Alright. All up in there. You got the key? That's good. Alright. Let's see what happens, huh? Step back just the tad. Oh wait, oh, is there any wires in the way you think? What the? No, you're trying to okay. No. This car is not gonna start with them oxygen thing off. Let it charge a little. So what I just popped the trunk. How do you open this? Oh, so it's automatic. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, I guess not. Um, this is kind of a fuse box back here. Huh. Yeah, that's true. What's back here? Nothing looks important back here. Alright. Yeah, this is the cover. I tried opening it, I think. Oh, there it goes. Oh, they got a rag back here. Yeah, it doesn't look too. Yeah, I don't know. Once before. Once before. Alright. Look at this, this is pretty cool. This opens up. Oh, there that goes. It should clear. That's pretty nice. You can put two in there. <laughs> uh, that's pretty nice. Alright guys, so... My dad's gonna call it quits on to uh, for today. We are gonna uh, wait for part two for you guys. Um, we're gonna post this tonight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna post another video, or the day after, I'm gonna post another video over us. I think we're gonna get an oxygen sensor. We have this on charge right now. As you guys can see, there's charger under the hoods. That's why it's open a little. Um, we're gonna leave this on charge, let this charge up. Um, what I realized is that the front suspension looks like it went up just a tad bit. The back is still down. Um, so uh, I'm gonna post this tonight. Wait, uh, you guys should wait. Part two is gonna be up either uh tomorrow thursday or friday today's wednesday so thursday or friday so um yeah guys stay tuned for that hopefully we get this running yeah.